Hi there. This is Lauren and I'm just going to be finishing up. These are the fun steps of the storyboards. Um, if you're watching this and the red live is no longer in the corner, then I'm no longer live. And I'm just gonna wait for a couple people to jump on. Thank you for that. So I am going to, I have um, some water here in a little cup and I um, have my glycerin and I bought this off of Amazon. I can post the links below after this is over. Um, and I also purchased um, these little syringes. Um, they came with different sizes and different tips. These also came from Amazon. This is what I use to um, fill the excess, the remaining glycerin and water in the storyboard to give it that full look. So, um, like I said, this is the fun part of putting it all back together. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if, can y'all see the cup? I don't know if the comments are getting in the way. So I'm just going to pour in the glycerin. And I've seen a lot where um, people are using half and half. So I think I did the last one with more water than I did glycerin. So I'll try doing the half and half this time. I did epoxy over my glitter. I epoxied over the glitter and the decal, put it all back together, um, or the bottom part, last night. So this is where you'll want to check from, I let this sit overnight, some people don't, um, but just to be, better to be safe than sorry, I, um, the waterproof sealer down here is what I attached to this plastic part last night. So if something went wrong, you will see your glycerin start to leak out of where it attaches. And I have no leakage, so I'm good. So I filled it with the glycerin this far. And I'm going to go ahead and oh, I'm going to add my water. And I'm only going to fill this right now. Um, I'm going to fill it to just right below the inside the inside um, of this cup. So I am going to grab my glitters and what I'm going to use is I'm gonna do a little banana crush. I don't know, the lighting in this room is horrible. Um, so I'm doing Banana Crush. I am going to do the new Snow White Chunk. And I have some Mellow Yellow. 
and I could not resist with my personal fave of the Cristal. These are the two new sizes. And then what else do I have? Um, I have some gold stars. And I have some gold hexes. So the trick is, everyone can see the cup, I hope. You want to, you're gonna apply your pretties all around the inside. And you just wanna scatter them. If you feel that you have too much in one spot, I just use my, my tool, my weeding tool, and I will slide them down, slide them down in there. And you can spread them out with this also because you want to be, you want them to be even. Even though they're gonna float around, but you just wanna make sure that, and then if you tap, tap them down a little bit, you'll see them start to flow down there. So the first one I used was the mellow yellow. And I'm gonna do some banana. And you don't wanna do too much. I think less is more when you're first adding. If you feel like you need more, then of course you can always add more, but you don't wanna be totally swamped with the glitter. I really, really like these Snow White chunks. They're like a silver and white, but kind of an iridescent. It's just a nice little touch. And you can like jiggle it around and They'll start to go down. Okay, and then I'm going to do some stars. I think that the one thing that people maybe are having problems with when they try to do these or when they attempt, because I know that I did, I just wanted to get it done and finished because everyone wants to see the end result. And unfortunately with these, just like the process, um, I think I've posted what, this is my fourth video because it's a process. And the reason why I'm taking it, why I only put the water into 
about right here is because I still have to apply <clears throat> the um, the plastic piece that goes to the knob that you're gonna screw on and that requires more of the aquarium sealer and you want to dry the knob off as much as you can apply the sealer which i'll show you and then reattach it because that other piece is also key as far as making sure that nothing leaks because if it leaks on the bottom then you have to fix it Okay, um, I'm gonna add some of the gold hexes. And I kind of got more on this side, so I'm just going to move them on over. And I think I want some more Banana Crush in there. Okay. And some Cristal. And then I think that's going to do it. I'm going to leave out the bigger size crystal because I don't want it to be so overwhelming that you can't really see what's going on. I just like the subtle flow of the glitter. I'm just trying to get some more down in there. So why it's meeting right here is this is where the glycerin and the water are meeting. And I can show you. Um, let me run. I'm just going to grab my bottom piece really quick. Okay, and remember how I told you, I don't know if anyone's watched the other video, but I put it in the freezer and I put it downstairs. The freezer's not the same as the freezer upstairs. So I put it in the freezer and everybody, this, this is two parts actually, this here and this. So it's been in the freezer ever since I started this process and I'm going to tap it and now it's come apart so if you can see the light shining through this little hole right here this is what you're going to use the uh, syringe to fill it up completely because you want the flow to fill the whole cup and I'll show you So when you're putting this back on, you don't need this right now. You can toss this to the side. So when you're putting this on, this 
has, it attaches to right in here, the little knob. And you don't want to overturn it. You just want it to make sure that it's snug, but don't overturn because it's not very durable as far as reattaching it. So if you put your finger over the little tiny hole that's down here, and remember, I have no sealer around here, and it's starting to come out everywhere. So you'll see movement. But that is what you're going to use to reattach. Um, I mean, the little hole is what I'm going to add more water into to fill it up completely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry this off. I'm going to add a little more water. I'm trying to clean this up because I really shouldn't have tipped it over, but I was just showing you. And then I'm going to dry this off as best as I can. The knob I'm going to dry off. When you're doing this, don't tip it over. Because unfortunately, you just have to wait one more night. This will be ready to <clears throat> be completed tomorrow because I'm going to add the sealer to this little knob piece and I'm going to let it sit overnight. So I'm wiping the water off of this knob because I don't want, I want it to attach to the other piece as best as it can without anything in the way. Okay, and when I tipped it over, I got glitter all over the inside of this, so I'm just going to wipe the bottom plastic piece out where I'm going to apply the sealer. Okay. <laughs> So this is the part where you're going to get your waterproof sealer again, and there's this rim. And I am going to fill this up. Sometimes you have to unclog your sealer. or recut it. Okay. So I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to apply the sealer all the way around this bottom piece. The inside where it's going to meet the plastic part of the cup. You wanna make sure that there is not a space that is bare. You want it all around this bottom piece. And I'm also going to, so I have it all around the inside. I'm going to apply it to the inside of this knob part. And I'm not being, you, you want to make sure that you're very generous with it. Because again, this is what keeps it all together. Okay. So I think I'm good on the glitter. 
I'm just going to move a couple more pieces around, tuck them down in there. Wipe this off one more time. And wipe this off. And then I'm just going to line it up, press down gently, and then turn it until you're not really forcing it to turn anymore. Okay, so I'm not gonna touch this anymore tonight. I'm going to leave it and then revisit tomorrow. And tomorrow will be the final step. It will be totally completed tomorrow and good to go and you can turn it and have fun with it. So um, I will uh, copy the links as to where I got the, um, the Amazon links to the um, syringes and um, I can also copy the link of the glycerin. I got that on Amazon. And um, the only thing that I did not get off of Amazon was the aquarium ceiling, which I'm sure that you could find it there. So thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, um, just drop them in the link or in the post and I'll answer them as best as I can. You're welcome, Diana. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see y'all tomorrow night and this will be done. Have a good night. Bye-bye.